to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 157. I am Neil. I am Annalise. How are you doing there, lady loons of the lunatic ladies? <laughs> Will I get a title? That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Good. It's our, well, first of all, happy three-year podcasting anniversary to you. Happy three-year anniversary to you. Um, it's been lovely. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so happy! So this is our three-year podcast anniversary, anniversary mm-hmm. episode. Yes. So uh, it'll be pretty much like a regular episode, although we have some people, some very lovely people, mm-hmm. sent in some audio. I think just telling us how awesome we are. So we're gonna play <laughs> those throughout the show. So that right. might be a little different. It's gonna be a, a podcast about us cl- and more and other us, people talking and about us. also us. Right. So, and if uh, <laughs> depending how the time goes uh, and how long I don't, I haven't listened to any of these, so I don't know how long they are. What it's they be said. Surprise to us, as it is to you. <laughs> so depending how time goes, we may not do a favorite five. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We're gonna try. I and mean, we have one ready to go. Right. Which is our our anniversary theme favorite five mm-hmm. every year is uh, is favorite movies by an actor or actress. So we mm-hmm. that will be our favorite five. If we do it this year. If not, we'll do it next week. Yes. So, uh, also, happy St. Patrick's Day (laughs) weekend time. Happy St. Patty's Day. Yeah. Happy green beer to you, sir. Oh, God. (laughs) Um, I did not have one. (laughs) No. We went to the little local place in Napa that we like to go to. Yes, Napa Palisades. And they were having green beer. All they were doing was pouring um, green dye in one of their beers. Yeah. Which was kind of funny. Which is what everybody does. So, it's not, Mm -hmm. it's not, you know, I mean... Yeah, I just don't. That's what everybody is. And then I don't, I don't want that. So. I, don't, I don't understand why that's fun. Yeah. I don't want. Maybe because your mouth probably turns green. So that's kind of fun. kind of fun that way. Yeah. And um, and after a few beers, maybe you don't care about that or you look forward to that. I don't maybe. know. We know what the, one fun thing that happened last night as well is the acapella group came in. Oh, that was hilarious. And a couple of the older guys were drunk and... Uh, no, I think the best thing was the acapella group came in. There was a bunch of guys dressed in barbershop quartet stuff. But there and was you like asked, 10 of them. Yeah. And you asked, oh, where are you playing? And they're like, here. That's why we're all here. I thought they came in for a beer because at first I only saw the one guy. I didn't see the other guys until hilarious. after I was talking to the one guy. It was funny. So, yeah. I'm like, so what are you doing here? <laughs> Jacob was laughing. Jacob, the, yeah. uh, the bartender. Yeah, he's a good guy. But uh, it was pretty funny. And they did. They sang like mini versions, like one minute versions of like five songs. And it was very, very cool. And everybody loved it. And a girl jumped in there and took a selfie and like filmed it. And it was cool. They did a great job. And then they were just going from like place to place and wandering around town. It was nice. There's, yeah. yeah, same. I, 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 want, I mean, it must be kind of fun to be back on the East Coast mm-hmm. where there's a lot of like true Irish pubs and, mm-hmm. and the Irish heritage goes back so freaking long. Right. I mean, there is some here, but it's, I just feel like the East coast has a little bit more of that. And it must be right. fun to celebrate, celebrate St. Patrick or, or see the celibate St. <laughs> Patrick's day right. celebration. There. <laughs> there's no celebratory celibacy on St. Patrick's day for sure. Right. But um, I think that you're right. I think you're right. I think it's more concentrated. They're more into it. They, you know, loud and proud. They get over crazy. There. Yeah. And there's a couple places here that do it. Like um, there's a local bar here that has um, the Sorry Lot, mm-hmm. which is the local Irish band, if you will. Um, they play there all the time. And they always play at that place on St. Patrick's Day every single year. So, yep. And, of course, they were playing this year. So, But we didn't see them. We did not. They didn't start till late, and we were home by the time they started. So let's move on. Oh, from St. Patrick's Day. Yes, let's Happy get into it. St. Patty's Day, everybody. Three years podcasting. It's it's happening. Let's start with this, shall we? So let's get into it. Hello, this is Matt and Neil from Reasons. Oh. several and we just wanted to wish Neil and Annalise a happy third anniversary of Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. So Neil, mm-hmm. I thought we could honor the show if that works for you. Uh, I do like to talk about myself. Of course you do. So I thought we could do a fave three (laughs) rather than a fave five. I don't want us to run too long. Right. But I was struggling to figure out what the topic should be. Do you have any ideas? No, not at all. Okay. Well, we could do our fave three guests. 
Tony Stewart, Bon Jovi, Terrell Owens, Corey Feldman, Nicole Kidmed, and Emma Stone. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> First of all, that's more than three, and I don't think any of those people have ever been on the show. So let's do something different. How about our favorite fave five topics? There's the jerking, there's the blowing, there's more jerking, there's more blowing. What? You're walking along the beach, it's dark, and you happen to come along two people that are on a, you know, a beach lounge chair, and they're enjoying each other, and they're not, you know, hurting anybody. That's fine. You know, get after that. Those aren't even, you know what? This isn't working. Um, how about we just... Semen, a whole lot of bush, genital warts, tenactin on the vegactin, dishonorable discharge, Neil, funk Neil, sponge. Neil, let it go, man. All right. Anyway, you guys have such a great, genuine, funny show week in and week out. Obviously, Annalise is the star of the show with her cheerful demeanor and infectious laugh. Right. And Neil has such clever takes on pretty much every topic and makes me laugh every episode. Oh, fuck that guy. Ooh, harsh. Anyway, happy anniversary to Neil and Annalise on three... Phenomenal. Yes, three phenomenal years of podcasting, and here's to many, many more. Don't get a hard on. Don't get a hard on. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Neil. Just say bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. That was freaking amazing. That was awesome. I have not listened. I had not listened to any of these. <laughs> That was I just, knew that he sent something in, but yeah. I didn't realize he put that much work into Dude, it. That's awesome. Matt, that's like, a, oh my oh, god! That is, I love that guy. That is amazing. <laughs> that is, I, I, I like want to play you, it again. You made us both tear up. Oh and, my god! And we're doing a YouTube video, obviously, so you guys can like check out the YouTube video to like see our reactions and all that. And I want you guys to know I brushed my hair and put on some makeup for you. So happy YouTube! Hi. <laughs> that was. How you doing? Oh my god! I don't know about this. That was. But that was so awesome. Was, I want to. You talk for. I'm gonna text him. Such a great editor. Like I've told him that before, and I don't know if he believes me or not, but he is so good at editing and putting that stuff together. Like it's awesome. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much that for taking amazing. the time to put that together. That was freaking hilarious. And it just goes to show what weird things you say all the time. I know. What's funny is to that's hear why that. You, that's probably why you never listen back. So you had to listen to yourself. To hear. Matt hear, made you listen to yourself. To hear that. I have no idea where no any context. of those clips came no. from. What we were talking about. I don't even. Uh, the, the. He probably only had to go through like one episode of that. <laughs> the, the stuff about, I don't know, putting like icy hot on your vajayjayers. I don't even know what we were talking about. Oh, my God. That was great. <laughs> All right. You talk for a second because I'm yeah. texting Matt. Um, so, yeah. So, obviously, we are going to, like, um, play the um, voicemails that we got. And we're going to read some emails that we got. And then we're going to respond to them. And I I did very briefly read the emails that we got. But I did not. And neither one of us listened to any of the voicemails. So, yeah. there, you're going to wow. get our true, instant, honest reaction to that these is... things. So, that's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. So and, uh, also, like, no filter. We haven't listened to them, so we don't know anything right. about them. <laughs> and we um, will definitely be releasing, if not all these, we'll definitely be releasing that as a bonus. Right, on, on our app. Yeah. Because that's amazing. Yeah. That was, that was so funny. <laughs> that was so freaking funny. Awesome. awesome. We might just play that again at the end just right. for fun. Because I just want to hear it again. Oh, my God. That was great. Um, awesome. Wow. All right. So three three years. Did you think we would go three years? No. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping you mean in podcasting. Yes, that's not, what I meant. Not in well, love. As you released the first episode this week is a throwback Thursday. I don't know if any of you guys have listened to that. But a, like, lot of, as, a lot of people did. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, but, it was um, kind of funny. So our first episode is truly our first episode. The first time we sat down to record first a podcast together. First time we ever together. recorded. And, um, you know, we didn't know at the time we were, we've never dumped it. an episode either. We've never right. recorded we've never, something right. and then said, no, that, I mean, we've recorded stuff and thought, oh, that wasn't very good. Right. But and there's, I think two we times that anyway. we stopped a few minutes in because we weren't feeling it and we decided to right. try again later. But, um, yeah, there were a we've couple times like we were dumped an episode. <laughs> we so. were arguing before we recorded. We've never lost an episode. We never dumped an episode. Yeah. Um, I thought we did lose one. Yeah. Oh, we had. Oh, we, we lost had one, and we, but we re-recorded it, and yeah. nobody ever know, knew it but us. Well, no, we said. We said, but I just meant thing. like we didn't let a week go by or whatever. No, we no, no, no. Yeah. So, so yeah, so we've never dumped anything. We've never 
edited out anything and then put another piece in. Not that that matters. It's just right. we want really wanted it to be a, a conversation with us and just hanging out. Fortunately, the dogs came in. So right. That's good, but I'm not going to talk about it because I'm always... <laughs> Welcome to our dogs. Yeah. I did take off their collars, so they're running around naked. They're naked, and they look weird. So you naked. didn't think... So how long did you think we would go? <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess I just thought we'd give it a try a few times, mm -hmm. and then as it kind of started to be a cool thing, mm -hmm. then I figured we would keep doing it on some level just for ourselves. But then when people started actually listening and interacting, which actually happened fairly quickly, um, it just, it became funner. Like it was already cool and fun to be able to spend this time with you. And which is why we started doing it in the first place. We'd be able to do something together, hang out together and talk. And, and as we've talked about before, it's like this finite, um, really time that we set aside to spend with each other, to talk to each other about fun things, sometimes serious things, but, um, you know, otherwise we'd be doing something else. So you'd be cleaning house or whatever, but like we actually sit in this room and stare at each other and talk to each other for at least an hour every single time. Mm -hmm. And so, and we wanted to continue that in whatever capacity that may contain. But, um, I think that having people interact and having people listen just made it even that much funner. And it was already good and fun, and I really, really enjoy it, and I really like it. And but it just it took off, and it just like became even funner. And <laughs> is funner a word? Funner I know. I was right? about to say. I, I was in my head. <laughs> I'm like, fun? I think it's more fun. <laughs> yeah. It's but more then fun. what's funny is that but, you you kept saying it more. You're like doubling down on it. You're like, right. I'm just going to keep saying. It. Yeah. Funner I'm just going to go with word. funner. Yeah. Um, you can hashtag. It can't be a word. <clears throat> you know, but it's, it's just it, yeah. Anyway, so it's just kind of I didn't think. It would go this long, but I didn't know either. You know, like I just didn't. We just gonna, we're just going to keep doing it. So. I'm going to go on a rant about words for oh. a second. Okay. So <laughs> side note, yeah, I, sidebar. <laughs> there are all these grammar Nazis out there for drink. You know, whether it's uh, Facebook or Twitter or whatever, and they're like all oh or hate that. or people that like that's people not the right word and this and that. And I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> words were created so people could communicate. The whole point is for people to be able to share what they're thinking or feeling with somebody else. If you're if you're getting the gist of what somebody is saying, then the communication is complete. There's no need to correct anybody or make anybody right. feel bad. Because, I mean, if you're spending more time wanting to correct somebody than and communicate listening. with yeah. them, then you're getting it wrong. Because when language was made up, I mean, somebody made the rules for language. Right. Who's to say that that's right or wrong? If you want to say funner instead of more fun, we all know what you mean. Why take the time out to say, oh, that's, that's incorrect? Well, no, it's not incorrect. You know exactly what I mean. So... Right. You get it. All I want to do is talk to you. So no, I agree. Freaking pisses my chaps my hide off. It's a I mean, little, it's like it's a little bit of a controlling little. It's, it's I need such to be a, right. I, I know. It's you're it's, doing it wrong. It's, kind of thing. It's, <laughs> are you? Do you not? If you don't like what I'm saying, right. just say no. Nah, I don't agree with you. Right. But if it's if it's this whole thing about oh that's not the right word, you understand <laughs> what the fuck the person is saying. Yeah. No, I agree. Just enjoy the fact that this person even wants to take time out of their day to talk to you. Because you probably don't deserve it, you jackhole. <laughs> Bring him back, jackhole. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Anyway, happy three year. Ooh, okay, <laughs> little side rant. Okay. <laughs> that's my that's my Matt old man rant. <laughs> well, you did just listen to Matt. Maybe you're channeling your inner Matt. That's right. Which sounds Matt's gross. inside me. <laughs> oh, speaking of Matt, you're uh, welcome. For those that don't know, I <laughs> co-host a show. Reasons are several with Matt. Uh, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. So. Uh, so people say we're funny. I don't even try to be. You know what's funny is I don't try to be funny when we're doing the show. <laughs> I just have a conversation right. with Matt. Yeah. That's kind of how I talk anyway. So yeah, You'd be giving him tons of shit no matter what. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, I, I don't know. It doesn't come across mean, does it? No, no. Oh, okay. Not at all. Yeah. I love but, Matt. Um, so also we want to thank... Um, I think I want to thank our, our networks and things like that. Who People who uh, support us. But I want to make sure we give a huge shout, a shout out to... Um, uh, the network that helped us get started and is no longer a network. The yeah. Musings of a Geek Network. Wow. Network? Network. Yeah. The, the Musings of a Geek Network. And there's some really um, awesome people who no longer podcast who were in charge of that. And uh, yeah, it was, it, they, they were very um, helpful in 
so friendly, so helpful, yeah, which doesn't neat. always and happen. And the cool let's thing be was because of the you know, net, like history bad no ideas. No competition, just love. History bad <laughs> ideas. Help. Forty going on fourteen. Um, green up. Best worst movie. Oh, I miss those guys. Yeah, oh. uh, uh, graphic novice. We all mm. were in this little network together, and we were all kind of well. Forty going on fourteen was around for a little while. Yeah, um, but we were all around. started kind of together around the same time. Yeah, and the the person who ran that network really did a good job of making us all friends. Yeah, and that was another thing I was going to say. The interesting thing about podcasting is, as adults. Um, it's hard to it's make sometimes friends hard as to, an adult. Yeah, and this podcasting is really like we've made a lot of really cool yeah. friends, people that we've met in, in person. person. Yeah. yeah, in real life. So anyway, like Matt, for you, example, like Matt. <laughs> um, well, but I just wanted to say, you know, thank you to everybody, and you, you know who you are, and we got a ton of Twitter love and all of that this week as well. You guys all know who you are. I actually made a list, but it would be too long to go through. We'd be here for like three minutes at the end, just like saying people's names. But thank you very much for reaching out and taking the time out of your day to like wish us a happy anniversary. Yeah, it's a lot of people did. Really, That's really, really, cool. really freaking appreciate it. So, all right, here we go. Here we go. Let's do this again. Again. Hey kids, this is Margot D. Just wishing you guys con- <laughs> congratulations on your third anniversary. Uh, for you in the audience, I'm with the uh, Book versus Movie podcast, or as Neil likes to call it, Burke versus Slipknot. <laughs> I don't know how the hell that got started, but that turned into a thing. You also might remember me because I was the drunken Yahoo who totally screwed up the top five movie Santas. <laughs> good times, good times. So anyway, thank you guys so much for your friendship. Thank you so much for putting on such a great show. You are a part of my Sunday morning, every Sunday morning. You make it such a great day. I hate it when you drop it on another day so stop doing that just kidding <laughs> i love you guys i think you're amazing and um annalise in particular you've been such a great friend to me this last year i really appreciate it thank you so much and you guys have a welcome invitation to crash at my place anytime you want come to new york i'll teach you some yiddish we'll get some good food get some nosh as they call it or i can just come out there and crash on your couch do it mm, that'd be kind of nice yeah i like wine tours <laughs> anyway, 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 thank you guys so much for your friendship, for putting on such a great show, and here's to 30 more years of Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> she's so cool. She, that was, 30 more years. That's so awesome. Oh, she's so rad. She's that was so rad. funny when, we, when she was on the show, yeah. and she obviously listens to the show, and yeah. kind of how we all met, you listen to her show, listen right. to our show. I've been on her show a couple times. Had her, yeah. had her on the show. <laughs> And she totally knows how the favorite five works. And right. then to just go, okay, here's my number five. Right. Here's my number four. Right. Here's my number three. We're like, hey. She just went off hey, rails. Lady. It was awesome. <laughs> Which threw us off. It was hilarious. Hilarious. Burke versus not. Burke versus Great. not. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Delta Burke versus Slipknot. Slipknot. Yeah. Yeah. Margo. Funny. Delta Burke love won. You. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was awesome. That was that awesome. so cool. Yeah. And you're more than welcome to come anytime. It was, yeah. There's actually a guest bed. You don't even have to sleep yeah, on the it's couch. Not, unless you want to sleep on the couch. Right. Up to you. But it's a nice the, couch. It's the, an L shape. Beds. It's good. It's big. It's long. Yeah. That's not a queen size bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got the room to yourself. Yeah. Might as well take it. <laughs> yeah. Although it doesn't, it and doesn't have a matching. And we will definitely be uh, taking you up on this whole crash pad thing. And in fact, that room we're thinking of turning, turning into our Jamaica themed room. Right. Because we have a lot of souvenirs and now we'd like to Jamaica, display yeah and uh although it does not have the matching light fixture anymore well, should we talk should we do a remodel update yes and that leads us into our remodel house update and i want to thank you so much for putting the lights up today i today, put the lights up all the time <laughs> today we um went shopping we stopped by costco and we happened to just go down this aisle where there was um do yeah. I have that stuff on my face? Uh, yeah. Do I have lime? I have lime for my drink I think on my so. face. Yeah, lime, sorry. Lime Hi. bits all over. Hit the YouTube video. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> so, um, and then I just ha- saw these really cool lights and I was like, hey, what do you think about these? And so we bought a couple of packs and Neil has already got home and already changed, what, four lights in the house. And I freaking love them. They're a little bit Art Deco-ish, which you know I love, but very modern and they fit the house really well. Like art 50, Deco so. Industrial. Yeah. Love them. Freaking love it. And I hated the lights we had before because they were definitely like, I think, I keep calling them like bathroom lighting. Right. Like they put in the hallway and they didn't even like, and there was one spot where you could still see like the hole behind it. Like it was the base didn't even cover the entire hole for the light that was there before. 
So when we anyway. bought the house in Napa, we mentioned a few times, but for right. people that don't know, um, it was a flip. So it, it went to the bank. It was foreclosed upon. Check. And then someone um, purchased the house and kind of went through the inside. Um, they did like a whole new kitchen. and mm. But but in a somewhat inexpensive, hurried way. They wanted to get in, get out, flip it, and make a huge profit, of which they right. did. Which they did. Um, but some them. of the stuff, like, they really <laughs> saved money on some of the light fixtures. And so they were these really goofy. They, they, they The light fixtures they put in here would work in a certain home, but they, they used the same light fixture in the hallway and all the bedrooms. It was kind of kind of weird. So we've been wanting to change them. So it, it kind of worked out because inexpensive uh, Costco, and it looked looks good <laughs> and since we're doing the little remodel oh we should say mm -hmm. new front door new is front in door yeah it looks I know, really nice we'll i don't like talking about the remodel i know you do and people like it people ask us about it <laughs> they do uh new front door is in so the new lights what what else did i have and i want oh. to thank your friend ed for helping us so much it was a huge such yeah, a huge help. yeah. I, I did all the other doors myself including some exterior Which doors awesome. but the front door it was a little heavy and i was concerned to do it well i mean we would do it together but i was concerned and ed who is a contractor uh, and a good friend of mine came over and he pretty much did most of it i kind of became his helper right uh which was really cool i mean i know i i know how to do it i could do it but he's so good and so fast right. at it it was just so much like did the whole thing in like three hours yeah it was so yeah. So that that's done. And I'm on a whole um, LED light kick. Yeah. You've changed every, every light, light in the house, in the house is, not is now LED. LED. Yeah. I'm, I don't know why. I, I just, I'm in, <laughs> but everything I'm is it. much more lit. It's lighter. Like I'm trying as soon to get you, lit. <laughs> what? <laughs> as soon as the light went on here, I was like, whoa, <laughs> so much better. I love it. Thank you so much for doing that. And you did it like, did all the four lights in like what, an hour and a half or something. It was awesome. Yeah. If well, that, those are easy. I know, but still, uh, it makes you wanna, such a huge difference. You want to do an email? I do. And um, before I was going to mention when we were thinking our networks and things like that, people have been. Super oh, supportive. I, that's right. I wanted to make a. Uh, I wanted to, before I forget. I'm going to say real quick. I wanted to thank Mark from Tangemount because mm -hmm. he's been extremely supportive yes. of us. I mean, everyone has, which is Obviously, cool. Yeah. But Mark does a lot to also support all podcasts right. and he's just an amazing person and then so freaking he helps cool you get started so, and like it's yeah. open so check and out helpful Tangent and Bound. again you Tangent don't Bound always Network. get that so it's yeah it makes, it's a huge just deal. a good guy yeah. just a nice guy we were on uh his episode we should do a letter back thursday for that as well so check wasn't out. he on one of ours um I, you know what? i don't know if he's been on one of ours i think we were on I his thought, oh really yeah oh we Mark, should definitely have him on shit we should know that. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. Shit. <laughs> Is that the first time I've cussed today? I don't know. Probably not. No, no. It's um, not. I also want to wish um, Snake Oil Comics. Um, they're hitting three years, I think, this week as well. And um, we've been. They should have us back on for their three years <laughs> because nothing They've says been celebration. They've on our podcast, but yeah. we have not been on theirs. <laughs> but we um, mm -mm. Oh, I thought we were. Mm -mm. They've been on ours, but uh, we had Travis and Dev on, and um, oh, that was a freaking epic, <laughs> yeah, epic s episode where I actually accidental lost fisting, it. the accidental fisting episode, yeah. So I I lost it. I actually like had to like turn around from the mic and like laugh my ass turn off. Turn around <laughs> every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, so happy three years to those guys as well, and thank happy to them for being super supportive. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. We happy, haven't been happy, on their happy, show. Really? I don't know. Mm -mm. That's so weird. Yeah. So, okay. I have a lovely email I would like to read to you. Do it. And our listeners. Do it. Um, it is from Evan and Binksy from the Fun Size Happy Hour, um, a.k.a. the Melbournes. The Melbournes. <laughs> and it says, Dear Annalisa and Neil, huge congratulations on your three-year pot Huge. Thank you. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and lives with us. And also for all the incredible support you've given our podcast over the past year. We love hearing about your life and adventures in Napa, your favorite fives, and your pup dates. We look forward to new episodes each week. Cheers, Evan and Binksy. Aw, they have a great thank show. Thank you so much. I love their show. Um, and I also, as we've discussed before and we've talked about, and they've actually mentioned on their podcast as well, that I love, again, the interaction with other podcasters and listeners from around the world. Like, it's just freaking How cool would it be go to Australia? It would be super cool. And meet them. Yeah, you know, okay. they are super into, like, tropical vacation stuff, and they just made... Join us in Jamaica. They, oh, I was going to say, but they just made plans to go to... Um, Tahiti. 
Fiji. Not Tahiti. I can't even freaking pronounce where they're going, Pol- but it's French like Polynesia. it's in the South Pacific. It's okay. um, yeah. it's in like a little series of islands or something like that. Mm-hmm. And um, anyway, so they were talking about it on their podcast uh, this uh, latest episode, and I was like, "What? Where is that?" And I meant to look it up. Like I still want to look it up. I actually wrote yeah, it down. For, for them, it's probably so a few hour look it up. flight. For us, it's probably yeah. eighteen. No, they. I think they said it was uh, like five hours total or something. Yeah. <laughs> so that's awesome. Anyway, yeah, I think but, Jamaica for them would be a ridiculous, right? To long, <laughs> right? It's the wrong direction. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so. Uh, but they'd see us, and that's pretty cool. Right. <laughs> but I just think it's funny, if, you know, like. We met over like podcasting and they're on the other side of the planet, yet we share so many similar <laughs> interests and ideas and things like that. That's just really cool. Really, I, really cool. And thank you so much for um, sending something in. I really, really appreciate it. I have a question for you. Yes. Um, I guess we should move along here because we're, we're already running we're fine. late. It's fine. I um, might be like a few minutes <clears throat> over. We may or may not do the favorite five. We'll see. Yep. So the word douche. Oh. <laughs> Is like people use it to call each other like like oh you're just, the guy's such a douchebag right. and it's like a bad thing, but if you need a douche, isn't the douche itself good? Um, that is an interesting question. So, I think that people think that a douche is a good thing because it cleanses you out. It's like a cleanse right. for your uterus, if you will. But the thing is, is that. Um, a lot of doctors don't suggest that because there's like chemicals and things like that in right. The, if it's if you get a bad one, they the have nat- they have natural ones, right. right? So you can and and that's okay to do that, but like it changes just, your pH balance of your body. It's so like so it's not always a good thing, right? But I'm just saying in general, I think that people have turned it into a bad thing because since it flushes you it's, out, the douche maybe it, the bad stuff comes out, and so well that's fine. But the right. douche itself, we, are we really isn't dissecting the thing. word douche? Right now? Well, that's what I'm thinking. Because everyone, because I, I, this week I've heard it a ton. People were like, really? I, I, it was everywhere. Yeah, for I never some reason. used that word. Yeah, and it's like actually you did this week. Did I? Yeah. Well, and and when, I must have been fairly upset when you said it. I was like, oh, that's interesting because I thought, you know, that's like calling somebody a tow truck. I mean, it's just something you need. It's it itself oh, isn't shit. bad. <laughs> that's funny. It itself isn't bad. It's it's. I just spilled some beer. On yeah, I know. One of the computers, <laughs> or um, actually two of them. Whatever. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Um, it, it the. I mean, it just seems like. Okay, let's just say it's an all natural product that's not going to harm you, right? You you get one of the good ones. It <laughs> seems. <laughs> what are you doing? Just this is I gross. Okay. Come on, that thing. <laughs> um, it seems like it's not the bad thing. Yeah. I don't know. So how is the, how did that become a, a like that's just so lame. Well, it's the same thing like when you call someone a dick is a dick bad or pussy, right? Yeah. Or what's wrong with people? It goes back yeah. to my communication. Sucking thing. balls. This sucks balls. Is sucking balls bad? Well, I don't if know. I had to suck a bunch of balls, I'd be kind of bummed. Yeah, that would be bad. Maybe if you didn't yeah. want to. Or but. if you that's the thing. If you didn't want to suck the balls that you were given, that's my weather report. Don't take that. That's your beer infused weather report. <laughs> <laughs> I should put my beer somewhere I can see it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I was just on my head. Anyway, let's get to another one of these. I've got beer everywhere now. <laughs> Maybe you should play another uh, Before it... voicemail while you're cleaning up your beer. Yeah, all right. Okay. Hold on. Here we go. Watch the YouTube video. It's hilarious. There we go. <laughs> you're really pimping this YouTube thing today. I know, because I brushed my hair for it, so all someone right, better watch go. it. <laughs> hey, guys. You have the entire Salty Language family. Emily here. Well, Hi. except Brian. <laughs> well, I was talking about us. Brian is not here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great start. Yeah. But we did uh, give him a shout out on the episode we recorded last night. Oh, well, that's great. I don't care. We just wanted to say happy anniversary and let the kids say hi to you. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Can't wait to come and see you in California and in Jamaica. Why are we doing this? Not you. We're going to Jamaica. You're going to California. What are we doing this? In two years. You're not. (laughs) Space cats. What? (laughs) This is getting too silly. I I stopped and I said. No, you didn't. (laughs) That is awesome. Get the whole whole family. Yes. 
Yes, we got the whole salty. <laughs> we got the whole high family. That was funny. Except for Brian. I don't care. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Tony and Jeannie of Salty Language. And the kids. And the enthusiasts. And the kids. That's so really, that's cool. They got the kids to say hi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, the uh, we're hoping that um, they will bring their kids to come visit. And oh, I don't know if we're coming. hoping that. I just think it's given. <laughs> <laughs> we're hoping they come visit and also the kids are coming. <laughs> right. No, no, I'm just playing. They know that. Yeah. And of course, we'll be seeing them in Jamaica again this year in June. And um, if you haven't listened to Salty Language, you probably should listen to that. But um, thank you so much. That's awesome. That's awesome. And again, it's one of those things where they are friends we've made and met in person and hung out with and totally love that we've met through podcasting. And chat and text and yeah. do all that. <laughs> we have this really awesome um, group text between the four of us and it's freaking hilarious it's freaking freaking hilarious i sent them uh pictures today of the space cats calendar and there's a i think that that tony calendar. might be using his one of them for a new profile picture maybe <laughs> you should because <laughs> he <you> should <laughs> is he gonna use the bearded cat yeah i bet <laughs> why wouldn't you <laughs> i uh wanted to tell you mm -hmm. i was what i oh my god now i'm wet i know do you need a no. I don't know. I'm fine. We don't um, have enough towels in here. <laughs> oh, there's do. another one behind you. Yeah, no, there's That one actually probably towels. worked better than the one you're using. Right. Yeah. Um, anyway. Oh, God. I just dropped it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, there's a mess going on here. I was walking nine mm -hmm. the other day, and there was a garter snake <gasps> going across the sidewalk, and she saw it, and she lost her mind. Really? Yeah. Is the, like that. Is that our dog? I, Oh. Is that nine? Yeah. That's hilarious. Um, so then the snake tried to get like behind a fence, but it, it couldn't. It couldn't find its little, the way it got out. It couldn't right. find its way to go back behind the, the neighbor's yard. So it went, and she was so enthralled by this snake. She was like, what, what is going on? And then we kept, we walked, but for the rest of the walk, she wouldn't stop looking at the ground, looking for another snake. It was the funniest <laughs> freaking thing. Cause her, her nose was like was three inches off the ground. scared or interested? She was more concerned and interested. She mm -hmm. didn't, she, but she was like, cause the snake was going crazy trying mm -hmm. to get, it was, I thought it was really funny. Again, <laughs> an, another story that in my head was really Puff funny. <laughs> That's funny. Cause normally she gets scared of stuff. Like she's super interested in like squirrels and birds, but like. And lions and tigers. And bears. Oh, oh my. my. <laughs> oh my. That's funny. Yeah. All right. Here we go. All right. We're going to do another one. Do it. That's what we do. Do it. Hey, you know. Maybe we should start a couples podcast. <sighs> not this again. <laughs> why, why not? Well, couple things podcast already exists. There's that. But, you know, that's two couples. I was just thinking, you know, you and me. <laughs> no, that already exists as well. And how was your week, honey? You know, uh, with those two nice Canadians. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, but... Are you... There's got to be room for us. There can't be anything left. Uh, yeah, there is. You're forgetting something big. Um, oh, oh, uh, uh dark angles and pretty floors. <laughs> no, sounds like some kind of home improvement show. Um, uh, dark angels and pretty feet. Pretty sure that was just a bit with Seven Days a Geek. <laughs> <sighs> Well, I mean, if we can't come up with it, you know, maybe we should put our collective hats in the ring. No. <laughs> Daft Pod. No. Dark angels and pretty freaks. And, and, and out of all of those three, do you really think that we could do better? Uh, I mean, we could talk about the weather. Nope. <laughs> Daft Pod already does that. We could, we could do lists. Daft Pod also does that, too. <laughs> Uh, we could have guests. <laughs> they do that as well. <sighs> so there will never be a Stephen Palmer podcast. Not if I can help it. <laughs> and it's all Daft Pod's fault. Well, and no, couple it's things. Not. And... Don't blame Daft Pod. It is your fault. It is always your fault. Hashtag blame Palmer. <laughs> it is not my fault that the couples podcast market is saturated with talented individuals. This, I mean, that's true. They're all great people. They're all very entertaining and very funny in their own rights, and they have great podcasts. So, yeah, you, you can't compete with any of them. 
But really, we're here to talk about the one specifically, Daft Pod. <laughs> because they've done like 30 years of podcasting. <laughs> Again with the 30 years. <laughs> <sighs> Good Feels grief. Like Someone needs help with math. Uh, three years, which is a big deal in itself. But three. I, I've been hanging out with Bill. So he's the reason I'm I'm bad with math. Um, don't, and don't make excuses. Don't blame Bill. <laughs> well, so okay. So since we're focusing on Daft Pod and their three year anniversary, how long have you been listening to them? Um, I have to say it's got to be at least a year, at least a year, probably a little bit more. And I can see the audience can't. But there's a smirk on your face right now because you've been listening to them longer. Okay. I win. <laughs> it's not a contest. I still win. But no, seriously. <laughs> um, I th it hasn't been from the complete beginning, but it was before the wedding. And I ended up coming in and then like binge listening to... The very first episode all the way up till... And then I caught up to the wedding. Like, when they were live in Jamaica. And that's... Since then, I've been, like, on track consistently. Every week. <laughs> and I love them. And we love you. <laughs> Hi, Neil. Hi, Annalise. Hi. <sighs> I need to come back and visit. Do it. <laughs> but, yeah. So, back on track. Daft Pod. Why do you listen? Like, what's your favorite thing? You know, I have no idea. Um, I, I, I mean, I don't know what got me in. They're in the circle. But um, I don't know exactly who or what pushed me into listening to them. Um, but after three episodes, I couldn't stop. Okay. I think for me it was, I'm pretty sure it was Jay from Seven Days a Geek. Mm -hmm. And either Seven Days a Geek itself or Podcasting 101. I'm not sure which one, but I think that's how that came up. I will say maybe it, it has been thoroughly enjoyable to be blowing up their phones <laughs> every Sunday morning Good like morning. clockwork <laughs> for the last year. And I'm sure they appreciate it so much. They do. They appreciate it so much that they now turn their phone <laughs> notifications off when they go to bed Saturday night. That's true. That is true. <laughs> That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Palmer effect. Uh, I have an effect. Turn your phone I know. off. A great effect. I am experiencing the effect, like, Whoa. all the time. Go step. I turn my phone off every night. <laughs> what? <laughs> Over here. But anyway, um, as far as I go, I just love everything about the podcast. I love Neil and Elise, as I've said already. I have now had the opportunity to meet them in person. I consider them good friends. They have very adorable dogs. Aww. And <laughs> there are far too many good things and great things and funny things to say about Daft Pod. I wish you guys many more episodes, many more years. I will continue to listen and tweet you and text you and visit you because you guys are great. I couldn't have said it any better. So, uh, with that, you can catch Steph on Twitter at BadWolfBay87. You can catch me on Twitter at Agent Palmer. And good night, Daft Pod. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yes, yeah, Steph and our mom came to visit and stayed with us, and we yes. podcasted, so a lot of people know. Palmer's been a Proxy huge. Caster. <laughs> yeah, Palmer's been a huge supporter of ours and a good friend. And does tweet us every Sunday morning. <laughs> he is Although the reason we, we turn usually off our get phones. we usually get up about the time he listens. Right, but right there about was, that time. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is a time change uh, between us two. But yeah, it, these are. I mean, it's neat. These are the, some of the people that we were talking about that we made friends with. We were mm -hmm. lucky enough to meet Steph in person. We haven't met Palmer in person yet. I do right. believe that will happen. Um, but just such neat people. Yeah, and, very very cool. Yeah, and it's it's funny like hearing this like. You get a little like choked up and teary because yeah. it's like, oh, we always joke around about how we talk about ourselves and we like ourselves, and we do. <laughs> but, but when people Obviously. are being honest and saying nice, you're like, oh, that's that's neat. Like we've been part of their lives and they've been part of our lives for, you know, whether it's one year or 
more than one year or three years or two weeks or first time listening. <laughs> it's really, it's, it's kind of cool to have that connection with people. I also don't think I realized that Stephanie went back and listened from the beginning. I didn't know that either. I knew that um, she started listening a, like a year and a half ago or something. I'm surprised she still listens because that's a lot of but us. But that's, that's so much us, Stephanie. Yeah, so especially like after you listen, <laughs> you're like, oh, they're doing the same thing again. <laughs> It, they're doing but it. They're still doing it. We had such a great time when she came to visit, and our dogs loved them so much. Yes. And we looked for them when they left. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So. Yeah. So but, thank you, uh, guys. That was awesome. <clears throat> and, st- you know, uh, Palmer does a, a bunch of work behind the scenes with yeah. a bunch of pa- I mean, Super supportive, super proactive. I just, Seven Days yeah. Geek, and, and uh, he's got his, his blog, which is amazing, and Stephanie's obviously on – well, not obviously, because it was <laughs> obvious. No, but on uh, Gotham Lights with yeah. Hanno. So. And, yeah, check out uh, – check them out. They're really cool. And I was going to say that um, it's one of those things that when you podcast, when you're someone who podcasts, <laughs> as we are, right. you hope that people – listen you're never sure if they do and then you hope that people interact and let you know if they're listening and that's one of the things that they're both good at and especially agent palmer is so interactive with the with the podcast he listens to you in the podcast community and like it means so much like probably more than he knows or realizes that's it's really huge to the podcast that he interacts with and tweets at and you know, lets them know they're listening and things like that. It's, it's huge to let, to let, you know, the people that you're listening to know that you're listening and what you think and all of that. Like it's, it's a huge deal. So I'm not really, really, really appreciate that. I'm not really good at that. I, yeah. cause I'm, I'm so busy, you know, like sometimes I'll throw yeah, I, out that I try like I'm to. listening. I don't always, I can't always, be, um, but, but I yeah, try to. at work, you yeah. know, it's kind of like, I just, right. I got to keep going and I can't just, you know, stop. So it's kind of funny. Like, uh, I know when I listen to the quadcast, there'll be stuff that comes up that I want to respond to. Mm-hmm. You, it almost, and I fall into that. Right. Like it's a live radio show and think like, oh, I want to, you know, let them know. But I realize no, they're, right. you know. I try um, to take notes and tweet at them later and at podcasts later. And I usually do. I do about 75 to 80 percent of um, who I listen to. I actually tweet out about listening. Right. But there's, you know, sometimes it falls through the cracks or I forgot to take notes or something. So I am listening, you guys. I just don't always oh. tweet at you. <laughs> yeah. I, there, yeah. There's a bunch. And it's funny. And I know I, that you listen to a ton. I so know. I you just don't have time to tweet at people. So. And even before, when I started yeah. listening to podcasts, before we started podcasting, you know, even the bigger podcast, it was like, oh, email us about what you think about this. And I was like, no, nah, I don't. <laughs> no, just listen. And it is interesting, too, because I know for us, we have a lot of people that listen that don't interact. And every now and then we'll get an email or a tweet mm-hmm. going, oh, I've been listening for a long time. And you mentioned right. this. And sometimes it's even a correction. Like it's like, right. oh, it's actually, you know, this and not right. that. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's awesome. But it, they're like, oh, yeah, I've been listening since you started. And then you never hear from them again. Right. You're like, oh, all right. <laughs> OK, good thanks. For you. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, you want to do. It's pretty cool. Um, did you want to do. You want to do, uh, let's do the weather and oh, then we'll do, do an email. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got to do. Don't, <laughs> we don't have the soundboard. No, you so guys you know what that it. means. Yeah. Are you ready? Right. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to have to do the hands because otherwise I can't yeah. do it. Okay. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right. Here's your Napa Valley weather report. It was when we began recording here on a Saturday. Uh, I guess, what is it? Early evening? Uh-huh. Um, 66 degrees, 70% humidity outside, 68 degrees, 54% humidity inside. We had a peak wind below today of 7 miles an hour, an average of 2. And at recording time, it was 1 mile an hour out of the southeast. The barometer is at 29.92. It's cloudy. We're supposed to start getting some rain either Sunday night or Monday morning and then for the week. But we had like a really nice, what would you say, like... Seven, eight days. Oh, we, had, yeah. we got up Beautiful. to the 80s mm-hmm. uh, or high 70s, clear, sunny. Was I think I was nice. really sick on the nicest day. <laughs> and I was like, damn it. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. So there's, yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> ridiculous did you want to read an email i do and i want to thank everybody um for sending their weather you know we love it and we keep do. doing it because we freaking love it all right so this is a message sent to me from um malls molly mendenhall <laughs> malls from the mollinator <laughs> if you will um, so, um, we've mentioned couple things podcast before and, uh, malls is, uh, one fourth of couple things podcast and she sent this to us. So I'll read it to you now. It says, she's, I, she's a quarter, a couple things, a quarter, a couple things. <laughs> Ballroom style. Bring it. 
Um, it says, happy three-year anniversary, pod friends, real life friends. From Target stories to dog apologies, <laughs> go DIY home projects to crossovers. I have enjoyed them all. I think it was supposed to be two. Right. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was go. Go, go DIY. Go, go DIY. Yeah. Woohoo. Um, thanks for taking us along your journeys over the years. Monday commutes would never be the same without you. Neil's <laughs> constant sidetracks and random singing <laughs> to Annalise is contained. And what? Okay, Neil's Would constant. Would you like me to read it? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Neil's constant sidetracks and random singing to Annalise can. <laughs> and random singing to Annalise's contagious laugh. Wonderful laugh. You're both the best. Okay, sorry, I got it. <laughs> you I should have read it? this first. <laughs> um, it's and she has a, she asks a question. But right. first she says, "Happy three years, love you guys, <coughs> in your occasional ballroom discussions." Ballroom. <laughs> That's awesome. It's the ballroom blitz. Ballroom blitz. Um, before I say what her question ballroom is, I just want blitz. to uh, say that you guys all know how special malls is to me. And uh, we've become really good friends. And we haven't met in person yet, but I look forward to the day we do. We might need like a minute to like hug and cry on each other for a minute when, when that actually eventually happens. But I really, really appreciate you uh, taking the time to send this in. And I can't wait to cry all over malls when we meet. I know. Too. You're going to hug the shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna run away. She's like, no, She's like no. okay, with the touching and the I know, touching. I know what you do with all of that, so go away. <laughs> Don't need up. that near Come, me. Climbing up on you. Poor Ben will be like, oh, yeah. Maybe ben and I will just ben will go just get a coffee. Me. Ben and I will just go get a coffee. Ben will just hand me. Ben will just hand me. Or you me awkwardly a hug Molly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ben will just hand me a douche, and he's like, Aww. I think you need to clean that. Oh, stop like, it. Aw. Okay. Thanks, Ben. Let me ask the question. Okay, it says, what few random, crazy, or hilarious moments over the past three years stick out to you most? Usually it's weird, silly things that stick. <laughs> nice. Wow. <laughs> so, you know, what's funny is I read through this briefly once when she first sent it a couple weeks ago. A week ago? A couple weeks ago? Um, but um, I didn't think about it because I wanted the, the response to be fresh. Fresh. Super fresh. Exciting. She's and so exciting you. to me. But um, <laughs> there you go. There's your breakout singing. Random. Um, cra random, crazy, or hilarious. I have to say two things right away stick out for me. Freaking one of them's my pee pee. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first one being our um, on location recording in Jamaica the day that the earthquake in Napa happened, and we weren't <laughs> sh sure if we were going to go home. The day our house imploded. Yeah. You mean the week before we got married? Yes. So the week <laughs> before we got married, um, flashback episode, um, the Napa earthquake happened, and we weren't sure if our house or pets were okay, and we weren't sure if we should go home. Meanwhile, we were in Jamaica on vacation, our wedding pre honeymoon mood wedding mm -hmm. and uh, our family was coming the next week to uh, get married and watch us get married and so um we weren't sure what to do and it just is a huge deal and we decided because we were going to podcast from there but we decided to do it anyway and it is i think our most downloaded episode and it meant not only a lot to us to have that moment with each other and talk it out but also um we got such a big response and people like calling us and tweeting us and messaging us, asking us if we were okay and what is going on. And then people like watch that episode because it was also on YouTube and you can see like Jamaica in the background and stuff like that. So people. And we, we were, you can hear it in the yeah. episode. We were, it's one it's of the us only episodes. And it's raw. I listened, <laughs> we talk I listened about really back personal to stuff and for the sound quality. Mm -hmm. And we're just, we're frazzled. You can yeah. hear we're, we're just. I listen, I've listened to it a couple times. I think it's a really good episode because it is like really, really us and like it's real it's deep it's raw. it is deep into our lives and like what's going on and like and as people have talked to us before about it it's like we it's part tragedy part comedy like it's just our lives and you have to talk about what's going on otherwise it's not real right so. So that's number one. And my second one is uh, that just jumps out is uh, when your parents came over and we all post oh, podcasted together. That's right. My dad became an <laughs> internet dad. sensation. Diva dad. Diva dad. <laughs> and again, that's one of those things where we first started podcasting because, again, we wanted to do something together and be closer. And we thought maybe it'd be something like later we would um, show your, you know, our nieces and nephews or things like that. But and we wanted to have families on and um, it was just hilarious. And uh, 
I really enjoyed sitting down with them, and your dad was hilarious, and he your was, dad's he a rock star. It. He loved, he loved it. it. He dad so loved the attention. So. My the two. Well, I have a couple things to stand out. One couple is things. couple <laughs> things. One is you getting hammered when we recorded with Salty Language. Salty language. That's on their enthusiast yeah. episode. That's not on and, our episode. Yeah. But still, it was part of podcasting. No, for and sure. And you passing out with your head against the microphone, <laughs> flipping me off, not making any sense. It was. That was hilarious. To me. I just straight passed out. I couldn't take it. <laughs> the other, I, and I believe this was when we record or when we had, um, um, I want to say salty language, but I was just saying that, um, uh, snake oil comics uh -huh. on and it was, I was laughing so hard and I was having so much fun, but I really, really had a pee. So I peed in an ice bucket at the podcast table because I'm like, I, I don't want to not listen you don't to what's miss going on anything yeah, yeah. so that, that happened a little did, gross, we, did we mention that i don't think we ever I don't told know that if we did yeah glimpse behind the curtain yeah. of course there was still ice in the ice bucket so it didn't smell all weird but that's that's how i, I roll think about that yeah i like how you think about that um, i did not even think about that um i also in a bucket i also really the th one of the things that stands out was that four hour marathon show with grant mm -hmm. we had so much fun right and it was I the first never, time we'd done something like that i had never talked to grant i didn't mm -hmm. i hadn't at that point um I Which was the catalyst or, that made him start uh, Stranger Conversations. Yeah, I heard one or two uh, episodes of, you know, this was way back in the beginning for yeah. us. Um, Six uh, months in or something like that. Of, yeah. um, what is it, Seven Days a Geek? And, mm -hmm. and, you know, they were on a whole different stratosphere. I mean, Seven Days a Geek was just, I mean, it was a real podcast. And, and what they had done before and how popular they were, you know, it was just so all of a sudden have this guy on the show that knew so much about podcasting and did it for so long was was weird and, and, and how comfortable we were and just four hours went by. It felt so quick. Yeah. So that stand that was that was a lot of fun. That was. Um but yeah, there's there's always goofy things. I mean, obviously. Yeah, we had a great time for four hours. How often does that happen? Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know there, there's and a you don't lot like of stuff. Talking like, oh, we should go. We're when like, the, nope, we're not going. The we're rattle, just gonna do it. The rattling of the ice became a game. Yes, you know that love was that. fun. Drink. Drink. Uh, <laughs> you know the yeah. There's, but those are the things that really really mm -hmm. stand out. Obviously, meeting everybody in Portland, but right. that, yeah. that, that's a little more contrived. We knew that was going to happen. Right. So we set that up. That yeah. wasn't just a happenstance where it stands out, but yeah. It was a happenstance. Happenstancing. <clears throat> Ready? Tear up a little bit. Right. Well, you tear up while we right. do this. Thanks again, Molly, for sending that in. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Neil. Hey, Jay. And of course, Annalise. <laughs> hey, you two crazy kids. Uh, it's Jay the Angry Ginger. Just wanted to take a second and record something and say congrats on three years of podcasting. Uh, that's a, a big thing. Uh, you guys, I don't think you've even missed a week, have you? Um, from recording in Jamaica, Jamaica cast, to <laughs> Reno, uh, to the house. And uh, you know what? Have you ever recorded from a Target? That's, <gasps> that's uh, I think, on the next thing. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a, a big thanks. Uh, sure, it's been years since I started listening. I looked it up real quick. And I was on your show. Um, well, I actually I looked the first date up because I was trying to figure out how long I've known you guys. And Grant was on your show for 409 minutes. That bloated uh, talking retard. Nine minutes. Uh, in October 9th of 2014. <laughs> and I know I was talking to you before that. Uh, so I have the looks like the second longest. Maybe I'm just as bloated when we don't back too. Uh, <laughs> with three hours and 17 minutes. But Matt, you beat me. From reasons are several. And Neil's a current co-host on that show. Um, congrats. Congrats to all of you guys. I was thinking of like my one, some of my favorite stories, and of course um, Neil, um, you know the bike. <laughs> it will never be the same. The rear wheel. And Annalise, anytime I think of you, I can't stop thinking about the man with the knife and your morning drive She's to nice. work. Yeah. Uh, one of the funniest <laughs> stories I've ever heard. So, uh, congrats. Keep it up. Hope you guys go longer than another three years. And. Uh, you know what that means? That is the weather report. Uh, the music's playing over me. I've got to go. Uh, we're now taking you to live. Uh, Steve the Weather Guy in Grand Rapids. Please, Steve, give us the weather and all of those other things that you do. Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Napa Valley Weather Report Grand Rapids Edition. Uh, today is March 17th, 2017. It is currently 33 degrees here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, 33. 10 a.m. Participation, a rather 
precipitation. Uh, first time reading the weather report, please forgive me. 79%. Humidity, 68%. The wind is at a gusty 11 miles per hour. And uh, we're, we're getting reports here that uh, the wind is uh, picking up. And, uh, well, the uh, precipitation has just gotten a little higher. Uh, I, I feel like the, there's, a, there's a lot of rain coming. Holy cow. It's uh, a lot of rain getting wet. Um, yeah, you're going to have to, you're going to want to run for your lives here, people. Holy shit. It just went from day to night over here. The clouds are coming in. The, the wind is picking up. I think I'm going to blow away. What the hell is going on here? The clouds. Ah! Oh, my God. I just shit my pants. Uh, back to you, Neil and Annalise. <laughs> and, of course, congrats on three years. Also that. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. So, Jay. Jay from 7 Days a Geek. 7 Days a Geek. He's one of the first people and also podcast, that uh, podcasting one on one. Is it podcast one on one or podcasting? Podcast one on one. The podcasting. Son of a bitch. I should mm. know. Jay has has been, well, I think, one of the reasons why we became so popular so quickly. Because he agree. had such he really helped an audience. And, yeah. and, and, Which and all in seven days before. a week. Yeah, because, I mean, I mean, at that time, I believe Aaron was still doing it. Uh, Bill um, and <laughs> well, obviously uh, Grant. Grant. Well, yeah. yeah, but I mean, there was... Uh, um, <gasps> Anyway, he anyway. he really gave a ton of advice, and he was so open and helpful, helped, yeah. and, want, and wanted to talk about it. Like, you want to talk about podcasting? <clears throat> the angry ginger's your man. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah, just and and again, a, it met him right in and, person and Grant. Um, and like, if anybody that we know in podcasting like needs to be a professional podcaster, as we said him. before, yeah. it's him. Yeah, he deserves it. He'd be so good at. He's good at it. He's so just good at it yeah it's 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 always been well we've said it all the time we believe yeah if we had to choose one person that had you know that we could make a professional podcaster it would be jay right and i've also said it's a very close second yes he's right up there and i've I've also said the (laughs) reason is because i'm sure he (laughs) would drag a full-time job drag us along (laughs) take us with you yeah but uh thanks jay that's that's awesome that That was hilarious hilarious. too That's great. That's great. You know, we love the weather for it. That's hilarious. That is so funny that when, you know, back in the day we did, I mean, when we had guests on, it, two hours was short. We did yeah. two and three hour yeah. episodes and people listen. That's what's amazing. It's people I listen. I think that we just always felt, still do, feel bad for like making you download, listen to like a three hour episode. So right. we try to like, you know, keep it. I think it. that's the one thing we changed and we kind of that's, learned. I think, I think you're right. I think it's the yeah, only thing the only we changed. thing we stopped is that we decided we're not going to do these three-hour marathon because it's it felt unfair to other podcasters. Because that's right. taking time away from people listening to other podcasts. Well, I also think that, like, if you record with someone for two hours and you record with someone for three hours, like, I don't want the person who we only record for two hours to, like, feel bad because we recorded it with someone else. Right. So, like, yeah, which has nothing to do with it, Nickel, God damn it. <laughs> has nothing to do with anything. Like, sometimes you have time constraints. The other person has time constraints or whatever. Right. But, and not to say that it won't happen again. Right. And, and not, not to promising say promising to never do a four-hour episode again. We would love again, to do four-hour episodes. We would try not to. <laughs> we have a blast, but it just seems unfair to it's, other yeah, people. Like, you have to podcasts. listen to that four-hour episode in like four different chunks. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, so. and, and again, it takes away from Which you getting appreciate. to listen. We just appreciate that yeah. people listen at all. So we try not to make it hard for them to listen. <laughs> um, anyway. Did you have anything? Oh, there was one thing I wanted to tell you that I've... So I, I like watching YouTube's on YouTube's on video. You like that watching the YouTube's? Yeah, the videos YouTube's? on YouTube um, at work, like in between. We could like record a... from Target for real. Yeah, we could. We could do it from the Starbucks. We could just walk around, I suppose. We could walk oh, we could too. sit in the Starbucks and record. Yeah, mm-hmm. we could do that. Huh? Thanks, Jay. Uh, we'll think about that. It, so I like to watch videos and I watch whatever every now and then. But you know what I recently found that I'm addicted to? No. It's The Voice. There, that I guess it's a show. That TV show, yeah. Yeah. So they have YouTube That's so videos. Funny. I didn't think that you would like that. Well, because I, I don't think you like the singing competition that people sing badly well, and, no, and, and so makes this them is feel it. bad. The videos are only people that do well. Oh, okay. So, oh, so you just watched like the clip of the person the, singing. The one person singing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And Did you the, see the one with Curly Sue? I don't know. The actress who um, was in this movie like in the '80s, and she was a kid called Curly Sue, and then she. What gave, song did she sing? Well, I don't remember, but she oh. she um, did this whole thing. I think she did like a Linda Ronstadt song. Anyway, so she gave up acting and then like became 
she actually, I think, like, had a drug addiction problem or something for a while. And then she got married, had a couple of kids, and got sober. And then she um, went on and, like, didn't tell anybody that if it was I got, her. If I got married and had a couple of kids, I think that's when I'd start to do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, go anyway, on. anyway, she, uh, I think she won or whatever because she, like, she, she's amazing because she's a performer. Yeah, I, I don't, she, I don't. She just came back. I don't. She's a comeback. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, but it, anyway. So I, I don't know how it fell into my YouTube, like, suggested to watch the video, but it was, um, it was that song Wild World. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. Mm -hmm. And I forget who was singing it, but it's like the voice, and I'm like, oh, I want, I want to see how this person does it. And it was really cool. So really all I see is the performance of this person and then whatever of the four judges say like, oh, yeah, you're in or I want mm -hmm. you on my team. But I don't watch the video. So it's like to three the, minutes. It's not the half it's hour It's just the song. Hour episode, yeah, right? I, okay. I don't gotcha. even watch like what they say about the person. Like right. once a song is over, I'm done. Right. But I am so addicted to it because they're all such amazing singers. Mm -hmm. And they do such cool versions of these of songs that we've, you know, right. obviously know. So it's really neat. And then the other thing I'm addicted to is that guy who does the like popular songs in the versions of Where other he does bands. 20 different uh, vers uh, um, styles of yeah. song. In but he'll also do like a whole song. He's got videos where it's like uh, he does Hello mm -hmm. by Adele um, done in the style of Green Day. And it's the whole song. Mm -hmm. And it's really good. He's, I, he's I, really good at it. It's, I should, it's very effective. I will, I will have his name next time because yes, that's not yes, cool yes. for me to. Well, and we can also not. like post one of his videos to our I think Facebook it's 10, page. Ten second like songs. That. It's ten um, I think you're right. Songs. I think it's ten second songs. Like I think his, his name YouTube is channel. Andrew. Yeah, we'll we'll post yeah. uh, a little link to it. Whatever. But, uh, All right. All right. Well, we're getting we're at an hour. Let's do. We got one more. Let's do it. Voicemail. We'll do that, and then we'll, you want to do the favorite five real quick, or you want to skip it and do it next week? I don't know. What do I do? It's up to you. Hey, this is Courtney from the Quadcast with Swanee. Aloha, Quadfather. Aloha. Hey, and we want to wish uh, Daft Pod, D8, Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks Podcast, happy three-year anniversary. We bet on you. We we knew you would make it. I don't know if the marriage would make it, but I'm so glad that, that you guys as a podcast couple have made it. Swanee, you got to visit them sometime. They're from your hometown. I'm from Napa. You're yeah, from Napa. Yeah. yeah. And so, they made it through the flood and everything. They did. They did. They didn't make it to work every day, but three years of podcasting <laughs> is amazing. You guys are consistent. You podcast from Jamaica. You podcast no matter rain or shine, Reno, everywhere you go. And we love hearing about your stories. Don't don't you love them, Swanee? I love them. I never miss a show. Yeah. Who is it again? Uh, it's those guys in England, right? No, no. They're in <laughs> Napa. 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 Oh, right. Dark Angels, like Pretty Freaks. Dark Neil, Angels, Pretty Freaks. Neil, Annalise. Yeah, they were on our show, or they were on with me when you had a life to live. But, uh, oh. but we're so glad that Neil and Annalise don't have a life. And what life they do, they share with us. So happy Happy three-year anniversary <laughs> from uh, your friends over here at the Quadcast, right? You love them? I love them. All right. Cheers. What are their names again? Cyanide. 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 No. Annalise and Annalise. No. What was the name? It's Neil on a leash. Neil on a leash. Yeah. Okay. Neil down on a leash. Okay. Right. Exactly. All right. Enjoy their bondage <laughs> podcast. We love them. Yeah. <laughs> and here's to another three years of marriage and podcast. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Real awesome. quick, just got to say, we were uh, so we were talking earlier about our show and how we don't edit. Right. The computer actually shut down while we were playing the Quadfather and Swanee's bit. Right. So we actually had to restart and mm -hmm. just replay that little bit. So it's kind of funny. Yeah, we had a 15-minute break there. So if you notice anything weird, it's because we jumped back in. So hopefully right. it's seamless. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> But uh, yes, again, another person, people, but the He's quad father, Courtney's been and so cool. Had and, so much uh, fun on his show. Yes. Uh, and it was kind of neat to hear Swanee do it too, because mm -hmm. I know he's not a huge podcast listener. Right. Uh, but he's, uh, he's funny he as hell. In. He got in there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that was very cool. Check, check out uh, the quadcast. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a really neat guy. Yes. He's, he's he, a great his, guy. We should hang out sometime. We, we should. It's not enough. that far. He's yeah. not that far away. I don't know why we don't. Oh, because we're lazy. Right. What? <laughs> so uh, we decided we'll save the favorite five for next week. Right. And because you know we got to go have podcast pizza. <laughs> podcast pizza. <laughs> but what, uh, um, thank you so much to everybody who listens, who downloads, who takes the time out of their busy lives to spend time with us, and people who like gone on iTunes and reviewed us and sends us things. I mean, it's been so 
freaking amazing. I'm like, people send us stuff in the mail, people message us. I mean, it's just the outpouring of people who care and interact is amazeballs. Very cool. Thank you. It's very, really amazing. We love it. Thank you very much. We hope to do it for a lot longer. Um, I know we talked a little bit last time about how there's been a few times I'm like, ah, I think, think we're done. But then right. I've, I've now have this renewed energy and me too. looking forward to it. Yeah. So um, thank you, everybody. Thank you to everybody. Like, well, what everybody. you just said. Just thank you, everybody. It's very cool. Thanks for the three years. <laughs> Thanks for all the well wishes. And we were going to play Matt's From Reasons or Several's mm-hmm. thingy one more time. And we'll see you. Oh, my goodness. See you on the other side. Uh, hold on. Uh-oh. I'm about to m- mess something up. Okay, I got Was it. Was the sound going to yeah. go? The music? <laughs> yeah. Cut up? Yeah. So, all right. Um, all right. Enjoy Matt's um, outro. Good night, Agent Palmer. Good night, Agent Palmer. <laughs> Hello, this is Matt and Neil from Reasons Are Several, and we just wanted to wish Neil and Annalise a happy third anniversary of Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. So, Neil, mm-hmm. I thought we could honor the show, if that works for you. Uh, I do like to talk about myself. Of course you do. So, I thought we could do a fave three rather than a fave five. I don't want us to run too long. Right. But I was struggling like to figure out what the topic should be. Do you have any ideas? No. Not at all. Okay. Well, we could do our fave three guests. Tony Stewart, Bon Jovi, Terrell Owens, Corey Feldman, Nicole Kidmed, and Emma Stone. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, that's more than three, and I don't think any of those people have ever been on the show. So let's do something different. How about our favorite fave five topics? There's the jerking, there's the blowing, there's more jerking, there's more blowing. What? what? Oh, you're walking along the beach, it's dark, and you happen to come along two people that are on a, you know, a beach lounge chair, and they're enjoying each other, and they're not, you know, hurting anybody. That's fine. You know, get after that. Those aren't even, you know what, this isn't working. Um, how about we just... Semen, a whole lot of bush, genital warts, tenactin on the vegactin, dishonorable discharge, Neil, funk Neil, sponge. Neil, let it go, man. I don't Oh, right. no. Anyway, you guys have such a great, genuine, <laughs> I don't, funny I don't show, week in and week out. Yeah, Obviously, right. Annalise well, is the star anymore. of the Only show the with her two cheerful times. demeanor right. and infectious laugh. Right. And Neil has such clever takes on pretty much every topic and makes me laugh every episode. Oh, fuck that guy. Ooh, harsh. <laughs> anyway, happy anniversary to Neil and Annalise on three... Phenomenal. Yes, three phenomenal years of podcasting, and here's to many, many more. Don't get a hard on. Don't get a hard on. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Neil. Just say bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> That's hilarious. Good night. <laughs>